Students in the course post blog entries to a single blog. Students can also post comments on other blog posts. Alternatively, your instructor may set up individual blogs where each student has a separate blog and can only post entries to their individual blog, but can also go to other students' blogs and post comments to their entries. The important thing to remember is that no matter what type of blog your instructor sets up, all other students in the course can read and comment on blog posts. Blogs can be accessed in one of three areas. Click the Course Tools button. Then click Blogs. Your instructor may also give you a direct link like you see here on your course navigation menu. Your instructor can also link you into a blog from within your assignments area as you can see here. In this example, I will access the blog using the linked area. All I do is simply click on the title. From here, I can see any existing blog entries or comments, but for now, I want to simply post an entry. To make a blog entry, first click the Create Blog Entry button. Second, you must type in a title for your entry. Third, Blackboard provides a box for you to type into. Like other tools, you can also attach a file. As a reminder, please make sure to read your instructions or syllabus for your instructor's guidelines on whether to type in the box or to attach a file. When you're ready to post your blog entry, click the Post Entry button. If you're not finished, you can also click the Save Entry as Draft button. If you use the Save Draft button, you can go back and view your draft simply by clicking on the View Drafts button. In this example, it says no items found because I haven't saved any items as a draft. Now that you have an entry into the blog, it is ready for other students to post a comment. In this example, you can see that there are a couple of comments. To add your own comment, click the Comment button. To type your comment into the box, simply place your cursor inside the box, type whatever comment you want, then click Add. Notice that your comment is added and you can read it by clicking on the underlined link titled comment. The journal tool is a little different from the blog, although you'll find it works exactly the same. The biggest difference in the journal tool is typically journal entries are private. In other words, entries are shared only between you and your instructor. Your instructor may choose to permit other users to see journal entries. Notice here that the journal states that the visibility is private. Blackboard also shows you how many entries have been made into this journal. Access the journal by clicking on the journal name. To write an entry in your journal, click Create Journal Entry. Type in a title for your journal entry.
Blackboard provides this box where you can type in your entry for your journal. You may also attach a file. Make sure when you attach your file that you click the Attach File button. From here, you can verify that your file is attached by looking at the Attached Files line, and you'll see your file name listed right here. Before deciding whether to type into the box or attach a file, make sure you know what your instructor ins expects. Instructors may put information about their expectations for journal entries in your syllabus, in an announcement, or somewhere else. When you are ready to post your journal entry, click the Post Entry button. If you're not finished, you can also click the Save Entry as Draft button. If you go back to your saved draft, simply click on the View Drafts button located right here. You'll notice it brings you right back to your last saved draft to where you can now type in any of your, any of your changes and click Post Entry. Now that you've posted your entry, your instructor may use this comments area to provide feedback. You can also add a comment. To add a comment, click the comment button. Type your comment into the box, then click the add button. Notice that your comment is now added and you can read it 